Aries, 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 Aries. Got some King of Pentacles. Six of Swords, all right. Okay, you know what? I really feel like you're moving away from harder times, moving away from things that hurt you. Here's your energy. I think there's like someone standing up for you, behind you. Someone very strong. Someone capable of protecting you. Okay. Feel a sense of divine protection for you. <clears throat> nice. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, you just got to sit in it and be strong. I think it's a time for you to like... Lean into the alchemy is actually taking place, probably feeling uncomfortable for you. I'm getting that. Mm -hmm. oh, nice, beautiful blessings coming in. Okay. So we have this energy again. King of Swords. You have uh, two swords kicking out right away. So I kind of feel like there's either two people or two um, professionals or two family members or two people who will speak on your behalf. It feels more so professional, someone who could help you break through something, something where you might need to be doing a little bit of healing. I think you'll be very successful in that. If you're thinking of going to therapy for things that hurt you, I think it'd be a very good time. Also, um, possibly experiencing losses in your family, but I feel like the recovery is good. So we're not necessarily a loss. I wouldn't say a loss, no. I don't know, here, I just, I'm stuck here. You know, I'm really pulled to these cards here. And I just feel like there's a relationship ending between two people who are very karmically connected, but not compatible. That's what that feels like. Okay. Because you had um, very positive cards in your love reading, Aries. Ten of Pentacles. I mean, sorry, Ten of Cups. That's also a good sign. Ten of Cups. And you had this nice Twin Flame card come in. I feel like there's a lot of messages coming in through your dreams, okay? I feel like somebody is like thinking about how they would approach you, but they don't. I think they have other responsibilities or there's not space for them or they haven't done their healing, okay? I just feel like there's kind of like a dead end energy that's in there. Okay, we have that magician that's coming back up again. So I think this is about you starting a new beginning. I see there's a new beginning for you. I feel like you're coming into happier times. The underlying energy of a lot of the cards here are in your element. There we go. Fire again. King of Wands. King of Wands and King of Wands. I was just looking at this card when I was saying there's a lot of fire energy in here. Okay, of course, we see it here with the Ace of Wands depicted two different ways, two different decks. Um... So we have a rooster, a lion, and uh, and a horse, and three cats. <laughs> I feel like there's news that's going to come in for you uh, in Leo season. Okay, look at this. We have a seven of wands. So yeah, I think it's going to come in for you at Leo season. And I don't think you're going to like the news too much. I don't think you're going to like the news too much. I really don't, okay? I think you might get news about something. It might even be at work. Um, I'm kind of feeling more apprentice vibes in here, okay? So maybe not getting, like, the internship. But really what I'm seeing when I see the Page of Wands with the King of Wands, this is um, inheritance. This is a legacy between a father and son. Yeah, I can see someone leaving a relationship to uh, either go back to 
go back to another family. Okay. King of Pentacles. I think it's more so a story about inheritance. I see the sadness of this loss. But there's like this, this happy good times, you know? It's general reading. I just here in this in this energy, I just feel like together for you just so that we're all on the same page okay I think some of you are really just gonna take off and go follow the beat of your own drum i think a lot of you are dodging a bullet if you felt like something like missed you or you're supposed to do something i think a lot of you are due for a really big and major change okay a total closeout look at that we have, this, we have the six of swords again so very important message here that the ones who are in the hard times right now okay you're feeling it or that you're coming from a childhood at difficult times you're you're moving up and out of that energy okay and it's by forces unseen that you're being moved towards okay and you might not even notice it happening now it might be a subtle effect you know or it can just become bagging at your door i think it's more so going to come in uh pretty loud and clear okay i think you're going to know what's going on i think you're going to feel that alchemy happening and that change happening I think there's a lot of pregnancy vibes in here. There's a lot of children vibes in here. Okay, look at this, falling asleep here. Yeah, I think a lot of it is um, getting over a sense of loss. You know? There's so much peace here. There's so much peace, it's like a return very nice return here okay so i do see i do see a possible passing and a transition either into retirement moving back to an old family um, neighborhood losing someone special in the community okay i do see good things at work i do see a very strong divine protection that's coming through through a mother energy Okay, very strong mother energy here. Very strong protection. We have the hand of God. Blessing everything here. I, I have this expression that's been going on is to bet on the dark horse. Okay, so I'm going to pull some unicorn cards. Wait, you look for you. We have some messages here. I'm going to take this pile. And uh, look at that. Three hearts at the bottom peeking behind it well that has slipped out so bottom of the deck eight of pentacles so we have the eight of pentacles twice okay so eight of pentacles is about um oh no we know we have this three times hold on a minute eight of wheels okay so we have those three eights, which is beautiful. Eight, eight, eight is about um, everything working out for you in the background, so you don't have to worry, okay? Things are being taken care of by Ascended Masters for you. You have that divine protection, so you don't have to worry, okay? It's like, it's all working out. It's all being taken care of. It's all being taken care of in the spiritual realm. That's what's pushing you forward. That's where you're getting your strength from, all right? So we have something going on in your love life okay we have some love messages coming in eight of wands eight of clubs yeah we got some love coming in look at this unicorns are awesome i'm awesome before i'm a unicorn i really feel like saying affirmations this is another one of your cards okay we have the um king of wands here twice and we have the uh page of wands here twice okay the knight of wands here twice that's a whole family. So I feel there's a lot of family dynamics that's changing for you. There's a big change in the family dynamic for you. Absolutely. King 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 of Wands again. Yeah, and the Ten of Wands again. Wow. I see some of you guys leaving a job. 
Maybe because you have a better offer. Yeah, look, someone's a question my sanity. My unicorn said I'm fine. So maybe, yeah, like Tinosaurus, maybe you are leaving a job that you actually love. Okay? Yep. Seven of hearts again. You have another option. Another option comes in. And six of swords again. My goodness. Wow. Okay. So a definite move on and a push away and a changeover for you. So I'm going to keep all of these uh, fire cards out because they're super powerful. I see like a tremendous amount of growth. Okay, it's a big changeover from the blue into the red. All right. And I think it's with this alchemy. I think you might be burning a few bridges. Okay, and look at that. I think you're leaving a job. Cutting those ties. Okay, finding different kind of work. Something that maybe is more interesting to you. Maybe something where you feel like there's more of a spark. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune here and the world, okay? So we have like this double down. Maybe it was something you wanted to do last year and you, and you didn't get to do it. And now you can. Something didn't work out before, you know? Maybe you were disappointed. And look at that Two of Swords coming in, that Two of Swords energy compounding with that Two of Wands and that, that choice or delay that you have to make, that difficult decision, okay? Yeah, you have to count on your spiritual faith. I think things are going to move forward for you when you actually um I think for some of you September, I, I saw a lot of the King of Pentacles. I think in time in terms of timing, September might be the time of you reaping your harvest. Um also I feel like it's going to come in for you in 2020. So if it's not September, then I would say like by the end of the year like December more so, like you're going to have like your witches come in, like Santa's going to be good to you, you know? Santa's going to be good to you. <clears throat> so I'm going to pull one of these cards over here because I haven't touched this pile yet. And this is the deck that is representing your big magic wands. And the three stones I have up there are carnelian, Citrine and Green Aventurine. They're great for um, balancing your ambition with drive. Look what card kept out. That's nice. I'm going to keep that there for you. Okay. I see a lot of, um, of same-sex marriage. Okay. I see a lot of... Uh, there might even be family separation happening here. You know, but like I, I see that connection is still there. Like you still get to communicate. The red thread continues on. It's not broken. These two, these few cards are sitting here. Okay, yeah. Nine of Pentacles, being able to grow, having an independence. So a lot of you who are leaving the job, it's like, okay, why would I leave this great comfy job that I just got and I really enjoy? Is because you're going to get the opportunity to start something you really want. Okay, and be able to build your own thing. Six of Swords again, look at that. So Six of Swords is really about getting through the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is very uncomfortable. The Five of Swords is very difficult. The Five of Swords is very painful. The Five of Swords is inevitable, okay? And it's usually caused by external forces, but you know, and, and nobody leaves or separates happy with the Five of Swords. But the Six of Swords is like, okay, you know what? I, I prayed to get out of the situation. I prayed for this to happen. I asked my angels to help me. I, I wanted a promotion. I wanted to do more for myself. I want to work for myself. I want to have a more hands-on approach. Whatever it is, okay? Mm -hmm. Look at this. So this is also having a, uh, having a hand in uh, medicine or holistic practices to conceive. Very much so. That's tying in there. Um, I also, yeah, when I was saying September, I wanted to say if it doesn't come in, that it might be something that takes nine months. That's what something I wanted to say. Mm -hmm, look at that. Five of Swords. That's a card I was just talking about. Look at that painful thing. Okay. This is also about the apples and fall far, fall far from the tree. And we have a nine and a five again, so it's about the work. Oh, but look, we have the ten of pentacles. I was telling that, I was saying this when I was referring to the ten of cups. 
So it's a 10 out of 10. It's like, it's really, 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 really coming in for you. But it's like you have to take a loss to get it. But here's a confirmation with the um, conception of a child. With the assistance with the magic sword, magic wand. We have the uh, eight of pentacles behind it. It literally means work. And there's a baby in there. I see a lot of strong energy also for adoption, to be honest. Oh, look. Star. Mm-hmm. Strong energy for adoption. That's having having faith. Having a star card is having faith. <clears throat> we had the star card pop up twice in the Capricorn reading. We had some, a lot of Aries energy in the Capricorn reading, so you might want to check it out. Yeah. So there's a, there are some of you who are really going through that pain, but I see you being able to move away from that pain. So let's get, um, let's get illuminated. Let's get illuminated. Thank you. Look at that. Look at that. Someone's going to ask you for their hand in marriage. What are these two cards? What was this? Someone who has dogs, I think. Someone who's divorced. Someone who really has everything settled. Yeah, someone who's left their baggage in the past. Okay. This might be someone who smokes marijuana. We have a 420 here. We have a 210 also. It's also going to be a 12. This could be someone, yeah, someone who's been already been tried, tested, and true. This could be someone who's already been through the thick of it. This could be someone who's already had um, their fair share of responsibilities. This person could also have a green thumb. This could be someone you already know. I think more so from a past life, though. Okay, maybe more so of a past life energy with that. And there's a, there's a strong twin flame energy. Listen, we have number 14 here again. So the strong temperance, the strong things being changed, a, a strong alchemy that's taking place. Yeah. And I think it's a, someone who uh, you're going to feel really comfortable communicating with. Look, it's about the bottom of the deck again. So yeah, I, see, I, see that, I do see that baby coming in. I do see that baby coming in. And I see it coming in in what we would say, uh, I would say not natural ways. Okay. For that baby, that I see that that rebirth and that reborn and that journey, and also a sign to having to move, okay, and maybe move because you want to get into what you're passionate about, what drives you, get into your spiritual purpose. Maybe some of you are moving on a path of um, spiritual enlightenment, okay. Maybe some of you are traveling for a funeral. We have a uh, one, one, one here. So if you're seeing that number often, that could mean something for you. Someone also needs to break a habit in 21 days. And uh, yeah, I kind of feel like um, there's not much more. Let me see, let me see, let me see. If there's something more that we can get out here for, um, for Aries. Let's get a little bit more love on the table. Okay, so some of you were having maybe some sleepless nights. This was the bottom of the deck for the collective. Someone thinking about you. Maybe that's why you're awake all the time. These are um, strong flame cards, ten of wands, heavy burden, responsibilities. What's coming out here for arrows? So listen, if you're um, in separation right now, the man you're thinking about is not sleeping with the woman. Um, there's, there's some frigid energy here. There's some nightmares happening here also, wild dreams. It's also about um, respective space, okay? It's like there's a desire to be together. Mm. Nice. I think you're going to get what you prayed for. Okay? I think we're going to get what you prayed for. 
Let me get what you paid for. You absolutely get it. You know what I keep hearing? Athena, Athena, Athena. Athena, Athena, Athena. Yeah, listen. You, I think, have to go through the fire first, okay? Nine and ones, ten and ones, before you get your triumph. Because your triumph is there. It comes in in the money. You're rained upon with money. It's beautiful. Someone's always thinking about you. You might be worried about something, but I don't feel like you need to worry about it. Okay? Four of arrows is like, stop worrying. Stop worrying. Putting worry into the energy of the relationship is not good. You know, maybe it's like you're getting over the energy of people from the past who are hurting you. I feel like maybe that's what this eclipse has been about for you. Or maybe that's what you're feeling or the, um, the anxiety or... Exactly, I feel like you're being challenged a little bit. Just keep staying here, so... I see a lot of money coming in through blood. So whether it's family money, family business, family inheritance, um, working with your divine counterpart, okay? Yeah, someone you live with. You have that 16 that's there. What is this deck from? This is from here. So let's pull one more card. Aries. I don't think any Lateria for you guys either. So let's pull Lateria also. I'm being told that you need to be patient. One card for Aries, please. One card for Aries. Thank you. Wow. You know, it, it was it kind of hurt my hand the way it came in, okay, and, and both hands actually simultaneously. So you might need to like get help, okay. You might have to have someone work with you in tandem. Um, Queen of Swords. I was just watching the air videos also. Something you have to let go of. Four of Swords and the Four of, of Pentacles. Something you have to let go of. Something you have to cut out of your life. Something you need to cut out of your life or something leaving your life. Something's leaving your life. Okay? <clears throat> I see a strong need for shadow work also. But you have this Ace of Cups. It's beautiful. Walking to the beat of your own drum. Powerful. The Ten of Cups. Everything you want in fulfillment. Okay? A new beginning. Let's get one more card for Aries. There we go. Nice. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles again. It's fantastic. It's wonderful. New house. Travel to a new place. A card for luck, please. We got two. Two cards for luck. What we got? Look at this. Definitely travel. Definitely travel. Definitely travel. Also, um, I keep getting a message from Athena. So it's like, and that four of swords really came in. I, I feel like you need to hear a message. There's supposed to be a message being brought to you and it's more so in your sleep. Okay, it's in your sleep. It's definitely in your sleep. <clears throat> Maybe try going to bed at the same time every night. Or waking up at the same time in the morning and writing down your dreams. Okay, day and night. Also, somebody who's thinking about moving, you are going to move. Yes, for sure. Um, I do see this death coming in also, I have to say. And um, 
someone who may pass away not in their native country. Okay. And I think that's why there's like some heavy energy and crossover energy in here. And I feel like it's more so an issue with the stomach. Someone you love, someone you're very close to, someone who you think a lot alike. But that person is gonna come back to you, I think in the form of a pet or a child. Oh, this message is just turned over again. So yeah, definitely, okay? So I'm sending blessings to you. I'm going to pull an angel card for Aries because I feel like there needs to be some healing in that in, in that respect, okay? <clears throat> One angel card for Aries, please. One angel card. This is the same card for um, Capricorn, so I would strongly recommend you watch the Six of Actions, the Six of Wands, which um, I don't know if we saw, but it's about success. It's about being recognized for your achievements and for your hard work. And um, I just see what's it saying here. There's a person who was heaven sent and say yes. So very positive, look at this, say yes. This is a strong water sign energy, strong Pisces energy, strong, um, again, another wands card here, okay? Could happen for you in six weeks, could happen for you um, in the month of June after the official start of summer. And um, Getting a message about patience. A message about prayer. A message about prayer. Yeah. And praying twice a day. And to... Um, <clears throat> And to maybe watch uh, Leo and Scorpio readings, okay? To watch Leo and Scorpio readings also. There'll be messages in there for you. So Aries, that was your extended reading from the um, May Blood Full Moon Love reading, okay? So we had the energy of the full moon needing to activate the throat chakra, having that sense of longing, having some things return, might have some karmic relationships come back. It might be some sexual energy. Um, it might be some playful times. There might be someone who's actually um, has the courage, might be struggling with what they want to say. You might have someone who's actually watching you, but is um, staying in, hidden in the shadows. And um, again, look at this energy of... Oy, 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 oy. This is the King of Fire, King of Acorns in this in this Mustang fast energy, okay? And, and I think someone who's like dreaming of it, someone who's dreaming of their dream car, wants that red Mustang, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it this summer, kid, I see that. Um, there's your card. Look at that. Again, so like as above, so below. I've been wanting to say that this entire reading for you. As above, so below. That's really, um, it's really about how you think, okay? So if you think about your, oh yes, exactly. If, this is the number 11. If you're worried about your twin flame being in third party energy, it's not really about the third party energy. It's just a situation they've chosen to be more um, comfortable in. But I'm being told to pull five cards for you guys. So I'm going to shuffle a little bit. Okay, cut the deck. Okay. 
And I hear a lot about this dog here now. I hear a lot about this dog. One, two, three, four, five. This one's for you. Here you go. It's something you need to cut out, okay? Something you need to cut out. Also, absolutely listen to the air sign messages. I recommend that. Oi, Papa Yo, for sure. There you are. Emperor vibes, Aquarius vibes. And it's going to be more about your love and how your love works out over there, about your twin flame, and how you're going to get back towards them. So, see you there, Aries. Ciao.